It's Transports 96 here with another video review. This time we have Man of Steel Movie Masters Feora. So here you go. So just to go into the package, you get Feora, the beautiful design in the back and all the detail, pretty neat. The adult collector, and then you've got the Man of Steel symbol. On the back, you get the others in the assortment, and um, the Wave 2 consists of four Supermans, one Feora, and three General Zods with the Krypton armor. Then you get her bio, and then the just bio of the Movie Masters itself. So yeah, so here you go. So Feora, General Zod's wife, to go over her accessories, she comes with a base like all of these three and three or with all of these Movie Masters figures. The base has this wonderful detail. When it focuses, you'll be able to see it. I don't know why it's not focusing. But um, but it's really there we go. Great detail. Love this whole design. You do get a peg for the foot. And of course it is her family crest, I guess. And it's in the shape of an F, you know. It is kind of strange that these don't actually mean, they're not actually the letters, because of course Superman stands for hope. You know, it's a little cliche because, you know, you've got the Superman, it's obviously an S, and then Feora's obviously an F, and then General Zod even does resemble a Z, so it's it's a little like, eh, but, but still, no problem. Overall, the base is pretty cool. I do like it. It's done in the same exact coloring scheme as uh, the General Zod armored version. So very nice. So going over Feyora herself, this was probably the most, like, the less anticipated figure out of all these figures because of her not-so-great look. And, um, you know, I really didn't love her look when I first saw it, the toy, I mean. Uh, it just, it's not too great. There's obviously some problems here. First of all, let's just uh, go over the actual sculpt. The face, this is probably where it's been getting the most hate. The face is a little not looking great. It doesn't resemble the, uh, the actress very well and it's not a great representation so I you know they should have done a little bit of tweaking with his face it looks almost very like manly the the face does so not loving this uh, they could have really sculpted a lot better from the sides it's not horrible it's just straight on that it really doesn't look great uh, you know I've heard a lot of people that don't like that including myself so not loving that but other than that what are you gonna do the actual sculpt other than that it's pretty nice you've got the armor uh, what's, what's strange is the armor that they're going with because if I'm not mistaken she has uh, three different armors she's got um, just like General Zod the same type of armors that he has she has a skin tight suit like this if I'm not mistaken because in the scene in the trailer where uh, General Zod uh, you know what, what does he say uh, I will find him when he looks screams that when he's in shackles. Behind him in the back is her and she's shackled up as well and she's in that same kind of costume and if I'm not mistaken she does have this like armored uh, look when she reaches earth. This we see her when she's be standing behind General Zod holding a gun and uh, or she, I think she's holding a gun and then the, like General Zod and his whole team is just walking forward. That is on Krypton and that's going to be in the beginning of the movie and this is the type of um, the suit that they decided to give her. Not a bad one um, as far as the toy I mean. I I really do like the uh, the uh, the idea of the suit, although I'm not, you know, they had a couple different choices. I, I'm pretty glad that they went with this one, although she doesn't, like, fit in, you know, like, if, if they made a General Zod with his Krypton armor, because I know that they call this Krypton armor, but this is the, the suit that he wears on Earth. It is from Krypton, but it isn't his actual, like, uniform that actually has his, uh, his symbol on it, if I'm not mistaken. I could be a little wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Great detailing in the armor bits. Really nice. Really do like that collar as well. And then uh, just, it's it's pretty cool. I do really like the way that they put on the shoulder pads, attaching them to the upper, uh, the, the biceps, so that the, the hinge can move free, which is great. Really do like it. The only thing is the spikes over here, if I'm not mistaken, in the movie are a bit longer. It's just they had to shorten them down so that kids wouldn't be stabbing themselves. And she does have a, a, a knife on her uh, thigh. This is another complaint. I wish that they would have made this removable. That would have been pretty cool. But um, but what are you going to do? It is still detailed nice. And she does have that still amazing detail that all these Movie Masters figures seem to have. Yeah, if it will focus. Um, there you go. You can see that great detail right in there in the stomach. Any place that there isn't armor. She has that detail. Wonderful. I absolutely love that. I rave about that with all these Movie Masters figures because they deserve the raving. They're done really well.
And um, yeah, so overall pretty cool. So now just to go over articulation, she's got a ball joint head, but it's mostly just a swivel, a little up and down. Uh, not too bad though. She's got ball hinge shoulders, and these these pads are on like soft hinges, so they can be manipulated a little bit, which is nice. A bicep swivel, hinge elbows, swivel wrist, um, swivel waist, which is cool, and you can't see the joint, which is nice. And then her hips have the same articulation that all these movie masters figures have. They go out and then they go out like this. The only thing is you cannot see the joint that should be here that allows it to go out. You can see it at the bottom but not at the top which is pretty cool. Uh, it, it's pretty impressive and it hides the joint a little bit but still allowing it to have the same movement that everybody else has which is uh, very nice. Then she's got a bicep swivel, hinge knees, and hinge ankles. So overall standard articulation for movie masters figures. As far as her cape really nice. I love the way the cape's designed. I think it's quite wonderful and the way it gets really like wrinkled and uh, crazy at the bottom. Really cool. And it's painted really nice. It's got kind of a gloss that kind of fades out into just a regular paint at the bottom. Very neat. Wonderful detail. Overall pretty cool. So the only complaints that I have with her are that her face, the sculpting, isn't great in my opinion. I think a lot of people's opinions. It uh, It's a lot um, it could have been a lot better, at least. And then the actual like proportions aren't great. Her body and her head seem a little too big, uh, and because her legs and arms are pretty skinny and short, and the body and head are a little big. So very odd. It's not a huge. Uh, it's not like something that you'll look and just go, whoa, way out of proportion. You have to look at it for a second and then you can see that it is a little out of proportion. Not loving that, there are a decent amount of flaws with this figure. So because of that, I am just recommending this to any big villain fan or especially any Feora fans. Uh, definitely get this one. But if you're not a big villain fan, you don't really, you're not too into this character or General Zod, then definitely... Um, uh, skip this one, unfortunately, because she is pretty cool, though. I, she's got a lot of great things going for her. She just fails in a couple of small departments, unfortunately. Here she is with the armor General Zod. They look great together, I have to say. She's pretty awesome. She is She's a little short. Uh, you know, I, I think this is in scale, I'm not 100% sure, but they look great together. So if you have this armored version, I'd say just to look past her flaws a little bit and get her just so that you can have them standing together on the shelves, because they look great together, I have to say. Really quite wonderful. So yeah. Overall, this Feyor figure is not not fantastic. I'm pretty happy with her, though. She might be a little hard to find. I don't know, though, because I think that not too many people will be gunning for her, so she might be a little easier to find. But she is only one per case, and she's in the second wave. And only some stores have the second wave at this moment. I'd, I'd suggest Walmarts. Walmarts are crazy. I don't know what they're doing, because some... I went to, I went to three Walmarts in the last two days. One Walmart didn't have any Movie Masters figures. One Walmart only had had wave 2, which is where I got her. They didn't have any of wave 1 or wave 3. And then I went to another Walmart that just had wave 3, didn't have wave 1 or wave 2. It's just crazy. I've never seen distribution like this. I think Movie Masters is screwed up. Uh, you know, they just, they're really bad for Green Lantern and Dark Knight Rises. And I think that they tried to fix their mistakes by, like, putting them all out simultaneously so people can find them. Uh, so I personally like that, but that way of distributing could lead to some of you having trouble finding a certain figures, um, or it could just make it easier for everyone. I'm not sure it made it easier for me, so I'm glad on how they did it, but it could screw you up. You just have to go and hunt for them. So yeah, really do, uh, the, you know, I'm liking this figure because I like the character, but other than that, not fantastic, but pretty good.